So a while back I showed you how you can have separate key configurations for each keyboard you have plugged in. However, it's sort of a jank setup and it's not that greatest. However, I found a program called Kmonad that basically does that and way better. Basically it seeks to do what QMK does for keyboards, but instead it does it in software, which is actually really cool. It is also it is written in Haskell and this also quick thing is there is a disclaimer that the core maintainer is suffering from illness, so it may not oh, is be around let's say I wish him have some good health but to start you want to follow the installation instructions which on Gen 2 it's pretty easy to compile because it was just in the uh the Haskell uh, repo which I added but if you're on Arch is how you install an Arch and then use the next package manager or you stack but we're just going to go straight into configuration so there's a configuration tutorial this is a kind of a long tutorial as you can see and it basically goes into everything that you need to do to make it work. However, I generally know what I'm doing, so I'm not going to do that. There's some user configurations to get some ideas. And then let's start going to the dock. And there's a uh, quick reference. I'm going to follow this. So, we'll start off. Let's go and, and we're going to create a file using the... Uh, uh, um, at kb, kb, d, is what I want to call it, Let's create it there, and we're going to, now we got our file open, now the first thing to start is a def cfg block, and then we have to set it in, put a tab input, and, and then we give it on Linux, we give it a device file and then a file path, which I should pull up shortly. And then we want an output, and we want to do u input sync, and then let's put. Then you just put in a message like, "I came on add config," and then you could give it some commands to run, and some other things. But for now, we're just gonna have this your configuration. Now you might be wondering why isn't it highlighted? Well, because first what we need to do is do a set file type equals lisp and now you see it's highlighted. Now if you're familiar with lisp it's very configurable but you don't need to know lisp in order to do this. Now we need a device file. What we can go do is we can go, go cd slash dev slash input and then there's a thing called by id and by path. If you have a keyboard that's built into your computer, like a laptop, I believe you have to go through by path. Otherwise, you go into by ID and then just look for your device. But we don't have the device we want to plug it yet, so we're going to plug it in. Now we're going to do ls again. And you can see it's all nice. Uh, see, it comes up uh, right here. So, in here, what we want to do is do dev slash input slash uh by id i want the usb the it's not what we wanted usb uni there we go uni comp and there we have that now what we need to do next is define the source which we could go to is there's another thing under key math is a template. There's a bunch of uh, keyboard that you can do, and we're going to choose the ISO 100 key layout. And we need to put in a def source, so this should be our source. This basically, uh, you look at it, you just have to make sure the keys are in order as they appear. And the spacing literally doesn't matter. This is just for convenience sake, but great. It looks exactly like the keyboard that we're going to use. The next, we need to do a layer, which I'm going to copy one I already have, which I believe if you have a layer, the first layer, either the, it's either the first layer in encounters or a layer called default is the default layer. But this basically remaps the keyboard to Colmac DH. So now if I right quit and start typing on this other keyboard I have. So the keyboard layout 
This is just a standard QWERTY layout. However, if we run the command kmonad uh, model m kvd, um, oh, I, I screwed up. I don't want ISO. I want ANSI. That's what I want. There, now that should work. So if we do, so we saw that if I hit where S would be, it's not, it's actually R. But I hit where S now should be, it works. So what I have is I put backspace on caps lock because I, I type a lot and therefore having backspace there is nice. If you like Vim, you can do something like put like escape there or if you're an Emacs user, you put CTL. But I put backspace there and then move caps to backspace. Then otherwise it's basically just call DH. Now that I've shown you that it does indeed work, now we can do the other features, which are you can actually run uh, macros and whatnot. Because the thing with QMK is they have different layers of keyboard. That's what my main keyboard uses. They have all sorts of different layers and whatnot. And so you could do the same thing in Kmonad. And the documentation for it can be found in the quick reference. So you can. So how you do it is you go to. Uh, here, let's uh, make it bigger. What we want to do. Let's do a def alias. And what that will do is allows us to combine, combine things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you to make a new layer. What do is you do def uh, first uh, file type. So def alias uh, control. Uh, let's call the variable ctl. And what I want to do is do a layer toggle to the control layer. So now that we've created this alias, now we need to create the layer. I have a nice layer already set up, so I'm just going to copy that in here. And so what this does is it bound, if you see, it lines up with here. So F1 will become mute, F2 will become volume down, F3 will be volume up, F4 previous, F5 play pause, F26 next, F7 and F8 are your brightness controls. This basically allows you to manipulate things I stole this layout from the framework laptop. However, we need a way to get there. So what I'm going to do is take the CMP key, which I think is, I'm not quite sure what it is, but it's the key that, just go to the Firefox, and if I hit it, it opens up this menu, which I believe is there for accessibility reasons. It allows you to navigate something complete with the keyboard. However, kind of useless, art have some type of disability, so I'm going to rebind it to uh, this. Uh, function, which you can do by simply doing uh, CTL, and that basically allow us to, when we hold it down, access these function keys. If you still need that key, there's a way to fix that, which is you go to the Apple keyboard, it tells us exactly how to fix it, which is you do def alias and then CTL or FN or whatever, and do around and then layer toggle, and then the layer name, and then the function name. And then what it'll do is, I mean that you can, when you press it, you'll still do the default action, but when you hold it down, it'll allow you to jump to that layer. So now that we have this set up, uh, right quit, and then you can run it. And now, uh, there's no easy way of doing this. Uh, let's pull up a YouTube video. Uh, this should get louder and quieter. Uh, there we go, now it's playing in there. So you can hear that now if I pull down the button and do this, it should get quieter. But okay, it doesn't get quieter for you, but it gets quieter for me. So just trust me. Just trust me that it works. And there's all sorts of other things you can do. Quick reference, so just pull that up. Run next. You can set all, you can do all sorts of different things. Like, just be creative or whatever. This is way better than using Xmod Math, though. Oh, yeah, and the best thing about this program is that not only does it work in, say, X, it also works in Wayland as well as the TTY, so you could set this up on SSH if you really wanted to, although. At that point, you might as well just do it on your local machine. One last thing is uh, under the doc FAQ, or on Linux, you need to add yourself to the U input group, and then 
or create the U input group and then add yourself to the input and U input groups. Then add this U dev rule and then if you haven't restarted, run this. And if it still doesn't work, then you always have to run this every single time your machine starts. But that'll be it for today. Uh, I wish you good luck hacking and hope you have a nice day. Minix out.